Good morning from New York City. I'm feeling so satisfied with myself this morning. You know when you have something on your mind, like that slow boil on the back burner, that nagging, whatever it is you're putting off and you never seem to get to? I've been wanting to get rid of clothes and shoes and books, and I finally got started. And then I experienced what most people do when this happens, and it's like once you open that drawer or start cleaning out that closet and you see the pile, it's like the floodgates open and you want to get rid of everything. It feels great. So it moved from being a nagging thought to reality when I got a call from The Real Real. And that's a service that comes and takes your things away and resells them. And the seller gets anywhere from 50 to 70% of the sale price, depending on the item and the price at which it's sold. Anyway, somehow I qualified to have what they call spring cleaning when someone actually comes into the house. So even though they do make it easy, not having the onus on me to prepare everything and knowing this woman was coming lit a fire under my arse. And I was not going to miss the opportunity to get rid of as much as I could. I got rid of a lot of coats and the coat closet is half empty. It just feels great. And it's got me thinking this morning. I'm reflecting on what I'm doing. In fact, I'm in this process of thinking about what's next in my life. I've always been very strategic in terms of getting clear on what's important to me. And I wouldn't say make preemptive moves, but I've always tried to make things happen rather than have things happen to me especially when it comes to work and where I live. I feel like this is an important moment of choice. I'm coming up to my 62nd birthday, and I'm thinking about where do I want to be? What do I want this decade to look like? Do I want to stay in New York City? And if so, what are the implications financially? Do I need to go back to work? Do I need to reduce my overhead? I think you get the idea. It feels like a moment of choice and that it's one that needs to be made, even if that choice is to postpone any decision. You know, I always make reference to that quote, not deciding is deciding. So it's been rumbling around in my head. It's a recurring thought, and it's time to take a look at it. I'd say, in general, this feels like an important moment. Anyway, back to the cleaning up. I'm cleaning up to make space for what's next. And even though I don't know what that looks like right now, I do know that by lightening my load, reducing the amount of stuff I have and making order helps bring clarity as well. So I'm making space and room for what's next on many levels. One thing that's been helpful in this process is coming face to face with all the things that remind me of projects I started, ideas I had, things I didn't finish. The truth is I'm a dabbler and I have a lot of different interests and I get very enthusiastic about a lot of different things. And then I often don't go deep or I don't finish, or I lose interest. And if I'm going to be really honest here, my default mode has been sort of to shame myself for it. Sometimes I think to myself, boy, people must think I'm really crazy. I talk about this and that, and then I change my mind, or I don't do what I said I was going to do. And at this point, I want to drop that story. I want to rewrite that conversation I'm having with myself in my head and lovingly remind myself that curiosity is a beautiful thing. Being willing to try new things is cool, and it's okay. If I didn't become the painter I thought I might want to be, or that I didn't actually read all those books that I bought or use that great gadget I bought for the kitchen. Those stories are weighing me down too, quite frankly. Wherever I go, whatever I do, that negative self-talk isn't coming with me, that's for sure. So if you stop and think about it, how and where in your life do you need to make space? Either for what's next or simply to hear your own voice. Is there anything you can identify that you're holding on to that perhaps you're ready to let go of? Where do you need to cut ties? What decisions might you be putting off? Where is it that perhaps you haven't taken enough time to think through your options? And most importantly, where is that negative self-talk that you can reframe? Think about it. My I never finish anything or I change my mind too much has become I'm a curious person who likes to try new things. And I changed my mind a lot. I'm going to end with a sweet little quote. I don't know who said it. It says this. Your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. So I guess you could say I'm pulling out my weeds so the soil can breathe and the flowers can bloom. That's all for now. Until next time, from my heart to yours.